And this leads me on to something called watershed areas. So a watershed area is any part in the body, and it's quite relevant in the bowel, where there is a dual blood supply from two separate arterial branches. And there are quite a few examples of this in the abdomen. So the first is at the rectostigmoid junction. Um, and as we just talked about, the rectum is supplied by the superior, middle, and inferior rectal arteries. At the rectostigmoid junction, the anastomosis is um, most pronounced here at sedex point. Uh, and this is where the biggest crossover is between the superior rectal and the middle and the inferior. So between the superior and the other two. And a second point is up here at Griffith's point. So this is um, at the splenic flexure of the transverse um, colon where it meets um, the descending colon. And there is a structure called the arch of Riolan, which is essentially this part here that we can see. So it's a, a blood vessel which goes along the colon. And this is supplied obviously by the SMA, at about the middle of the colon. We um, have the middle colic artery and that supplies up until about there. And then that forms in an anastomosis with the left colic artery, which was a branch of the IMA. The whole artery that is going around is called the marginal artery of Drummond. So there are a few funny little names there um, to remember. So Griffith's point is the point of the bowel that is actually supplied, as is Sedex point. So they're the actual bowel. The art of Riolan refers to this specific bit of the marginal artery of Drummond. Okay? And these are quite relevant clinically. So in a patient who has ischemia of one of the areas, for example, if a patient has a blood clot that ends up um, occluding the IMA, the rectum would not be supplied by the superior rectal artery, but it would still receive its blood supply from the middle and the inferior rectal. So some of the rectum would still get a blood supply. And likewise, you get a blood supply if the IMA is blocked at Griffith's point because some of it is being supplied by the SMA. However, the problem arises when a patient has systemic hypoperfusion. So if the patient's in shock and they're not maintaining their blood pressure enough, these vessels are usually the most distal, they're the smallest, um, and so they become the most ischemic. Just like if a patient's in shock, they'll have cold hands and cold feet, um, they'll also have essentially a cold bowel because they're not getting enough blood. So it's something of a double-edged sword. So that's arterial supply. So um, celiac artery, SMA, IMA, and remember the borders of the gut. So the foregut, the midgut, the hindgut, and it becomes fairly straightforward after that.